Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. You know, just another lovely day in the life. Um, uh, guess, guess which silly fool forgot to charge her laptop last night? Me. I'm the fool. That's me. Um, so work today is going to depend, um, first and foremost, on how long my charge lasts. And then secondly, on how long my, my mental charge lasts. Um, but depending on those factors, I'm considering heading down the Cape today to search for some dinosaurs, also known as ostriches. Um, yeah, so so that is that is sort of what's on the menu or the plan for today. Um, we'll see how all of that goes and I'll check in later. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. Um, happy weekend. Um, hope that you all had at least a halfway decent week. Um, sorry I didn't finish up my uh, my vlog from yesterday or make you know any videos after um, the morning introduction or whatever. Um, I uh, I did have a really good day in the archives um, and uh, I, I I got home, um, had dinner or whatever, and then just like got super tired. Um, so I didn't really feel like doing anything um, <laughs> for this. Um, so instead, I um, watched the first half of Critical Role, then almost fell asleep at the break. Um, so I stopped that. Um, then I uh, decided to, to do my nails. As you can see, I don't have press-ons anymore. Um, I just have silvery chrome and, and purple. Um, this is how short my nails are in real life um, because they don't grow. Um, anyway yeah um so uh yesterday in the archives i only got through one transcript but it was like a really really awesome one that um said like almost explicitly backed up part of what my uh my hypothesis or part of part of what my um claim rests upon i i guess um that i've that i've written and and talked about before um the idea of a community in resistance and a community of resistance and how those two um, feed into each other. Um, anyway, um, if anyone's like interested in reading about that, I have a paper um, slash uh, presentation um, about that that I wrote uh, a number of years ago um, that I can share. I think it might actually be on my academia.edu page. Um, I don't know. Feel free to go there and check it out. Um, maybe you'll find something boring or interesting to read. Who knows? Um, so today I am going to head out to a really cool adventure. Um, I'm going to a museum called the Dream Museum, um, which was opened in 2018. Um, it's a museum that um, was uh, created and is is managed by um, the original um, indigenous peoples of South Africa, the Khoisan. Um, so I'm really excited to go um, to this this eco heritage um, museum. Um, I'm going to be going on a tour led by um, San guides who um, teach people about. Um, like life um, in in the bush, their traditional lifestyle, or or whatever, with with tracking, um, gathering herbs, um, learning some like parts of the language, even. So, I'm really excited about that. Um, I I think it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool. Um, it it just looking at the directions, it looks like it's gonna be a really like pretty drive up there too. Um, it's like north along the coast from from here um so um yeah uh uh hopefully maybe i'll get to see some animals who knows um i'm actually really really disappointed it's very unfair um so so um on the drive to go visit the penguins um which some of you may remember if you watched that vlog um i saw signs that said caution baboon crossing um did i see any baboons no no i did not um, and then um, just b beside um, the university, which is where the archives are, um, on the uh, the main road in and out, there's a sign that says, Caution, Caracal Crossing. Have I seen any? No. No, I have not. So, very cross about this. Um, but anyway, um, that, that sign's probably for like nighttime, realistically speaking. But, uh, but, but I still want to see one. It's not fair. Um, but yeah, so I'm driving up 
northy north along the coast. Um, it looks like there's a, a, a neat um, cove beach thing to stop at. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there um, on the way on the way back, um, and uh, maybe if there's some place um, chill to just hang out for a while, I will do that and read a book. Um, or who knows, um, but I'm just gonna see where the day takes me. Um, on the way up, however, I do have to stop at the store um, because I need to get a proper adapter. Um, I've been using, um, there's this, like the adapter thingy that I, that I bought um, specifically works for um, being able to plug like USBs into the wall, which like, while that is useful, um, it does not work with my um, Chromebook charger. Um, I, uh, I I have, I mean, my Chromebook, I've been like charging it um, using a, a just a USB because I guess like that, that um, the, uh, the USB, whatever, blah, 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 the same like little pluggy part that plugs into d the device is the same for um, the, the Pixel, which is what the phone that I have that I'm pointing at right now. Um, same for the Pixel and same for the Chromebook. So that's cool. Um, however, it, it um, only charges when it's off, but I've had it off and it hasn't charged. It actually, the battery has gone, has gone down <laughs> from when I plugged it in. Um, so obviously I need my Chromebook for work. So I'm gonna have to go and buy adapter, an adapter for that, for that today. Um, because um, yeah, this, <laughs> this isn't gonna work out so well for me. Um, so I'm gonna do that on the way up and then, uh, you know, who knows if that, if I wind up getting there early, like I'm sure that there will be a lovely place for me to sit and also read my book. Um, but yeah, so that's my plan for today. Um, I'm also super excited for tomorrow. Um, I'm going scuba diving in the uh the uh the kelp forest because um the the cape here is um one of i guess only nine underwater forests um around the world um and uh yeah i just wanna i think it would be really cool to uh to go scuba diving in in this one um uh, because like as i've been saying so much of uh like the ecology here is very much like what I'm used to back home. Um, so it's uh, this is gonna be kind of another cool like instance of seeing such a similar ecology, but um, obviously one that, that has a lot of differences. Um, so yeah, so that's for tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna obviously update <clears throat> this vlog for today. Um, hopefully like during my uh my tour of the um the eco heritage center but also after um if if i'm lucky maybe um our guides will let me take like short video clips um or record really anything at all during the tour if not like oh well there'll be pictures up on my instagram um but yeah and then i'm gonna i'm gonna film an update from that afterwards um because again it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's all I have to say for this morning. And um, I will see you all in the future. Oh, also I woke up this morning to the power being out. So like that really sucked because it meant that I had to like wait for, a, for an indefinite period of time for it to come back on so I could get my coffee. Um, fortunately it came back on like an hour after I woke up, but like still. <sighs> I'm so over this. It's actually been really good for the past few days. The Wi-Fi connection has been pretty good for the past few days too, but like, knock on wood, I probably screwed that over, like now saying that. Um, but but yeah, waking up to the power being out again and not being able to make coffee was really <clears throat> frustrating. Mission accomplished. Okay, well, um, here I am at the museum, um, like, a, a little over an hour early because I just, you know, wasn't sure, um, how long it would take me to get here or if Google would lead me astray or, or, or something. 
Um, but yeah, I'm here. I'm gonna get out, walk around a little bit, I guess. Um, it doesn't... I don't know how much, like, stuff there is to just walk around or whatever, but I've got my lunch here, so I'm gonna hop out and eat that somewhere. Um, and, uh, take some pictures, obviously. Um, yeah, but, but here I am. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Um, let me give you guys just a quick view. So here is just the view from here. It's it's really just really beautiful. Um, I didn't drive up like actually right next to the ocean, I guess. It was much more through um, like all of that scrub brush. I don't know if you can see the road all the way down there, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's a good time. Um, good 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 drive uh um i i found the place that i'm going to be stopping off later um after the grotto bay um and uh there are like two signs right before it and like the speed limit is 120 kilometers um so hopefully i'll be able to notice it and slow down in time to like pull into it without crazy nonsense um, fortunately, going back, it's going to be on the right side, um, and I'll be on the right side, um, so I'll be able to just, you know, swing in instead of trying to figure out how to go across traffic. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go check in, show them my ticket thing, um, and uh, find a spot to eat. Okay, well, that was really, really amazing. Um, this is post-tour rally, checking in to uh, just sort of apologize for um, some of the noise in the video that is to follow because, you know, let's just do things a little bit backwards. But um, it was an amazing time, as you will see. Um, yeah, and then I'll uh, have some words to say afterwards.
job to do the hunting. Also, before I start driving, um, this tour took longer than I expected. I mean, I'm glad that it did. It was a really great time, but I'm a little bit tired. Um, so it's 4.44 now. I was expecting this to be over um, around like 3.30. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna head home instead of going to the, uh, the grotto thing to read um, because tomorrow is going to be another adventure, as I said earlier. Um, Anyway, I'm going to make my hour and a half drive home now. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to you later. Uh, I just got a message from the people who are supposed to be leading my snorkeling tour tomorrow. And they have to cancel because of the weather. Which, I'm glad they're putting safety first. But they said that they can make free time for anyone in the coming week to rebook. But I can't come on any of the days because those are days that I have to be in the archives. So <sighs> that really sucks. That beep, beep, beep is my, my dinner. <laughs> but that's not fair. I wanted to go snorkeling in the kelp forest. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow then. Sorry, my I look really sunburned. So... That's cool, um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. <sighs> we'll figure it out. I was thinking about doing a hike, um, but that was gonna be like, you know, next weekend because I just went on a, like a hike today and I don't wanna like overwork my knee, which is already feeling like a little weird. Um, but yeah, um, it, comment suggestions down below if you see this before it's my tomorrow um otherwise i'm just gonna google around and try to find something to do maybe i'll do the aquarium instead that might be cool and i'll still get to experience like ocean stuff um then i have to figure out something else to do next weekend I'll do my hike then. Yeah, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. Thanks so much, YouTube followers, for helping me figure that out. Thanks. Thanks a lot. So I'm actually going to end today's video here. Um, I don't really think a lot more blah 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 is needed, um, especially because I think it's gotten kind of long with um, all of the uh, cool videos from, from my tour. Um, I do just want to say, you know, like a couple of things, um, like that, uh, visiting centers like this, um, are, are really important, um, is really important rather, um, just because, I mean, again, this is a, this is an eco heritage center. Um, so it's a place where, um, the indigenous peoples of this area are, um, able to present, you know, their history their connection to the world that they live in, 
um, or that their people lived in before, um, you know, hundreds of thousands of years of, of colonialism from different peoples coming in and, um, and changing the world that, that they lived in. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it's really important to be able to, to access, you know, that history, um, and, uh, learn about, you know, not just, like, their history, but also, like, knowledge and, um, you know, traditional ways of understanding and living within the world, um, and also this is a very important, you know, kind of place to come to because it is owned and operated by these indigenous peoples, so, um, you're coming into a space where you are, um, supporting them, you know, um, supporting them in their ability to do that, um, and to tell those stories for, for themselves. Um, but yeah, so it was a really great experience. I really enjoyed it. Um, I was, uh, there were two other people, um, on the tour with me. Um, I think husband and wife, I'm not really sure, who are local to Cape Town. Um, and then, uh, the senior guide, um, Kerson, and so then I forget the name of the guide who's in training. Um, but she was also, she was really sweet. She told us, um, a lot about the, uh, um, like daily life and like practices and like, um, things, um, that, uh, um, are, you know, for the San people. Um, but, um, yeah, anyway, um, learned some really cool stuff, um, uh, like the fact that the eland, which is one of the animals, um, in, uh, some of the footage, um, they're the really big antelope, um, that, that you may have noticed, um, they're not the zebras, and they're not the springbok, um, they're the big antelope, um, and they're not the rogue ostriches that you may see wandering around in one of them, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, so they're, anyway, they're very large antelope, um, and they are sacred to some of the, uh, tribes of, of San peoples, um, Kerison's, um, tribe, um, it, it, they're sacred to his tribe, for example, um, and, uh, so sacred and also, you know, um, part of that connection is the connection to, like, that being a major food source, um, and so whenever you kill, um, an eland, um, which was a really important thing for, you know, to, to be hunting, um, because, yeah, like I said, sorry, my brain is, like, cooked, um, from being out in the sun all day, um, but, yeah, so, um, when hunting them, um, when you actually, when you come to them after they've, um, been paralyzed from, you know, the, the poison, um, on your arrow, um, you, uh, you throw, like, dirt, sand onto, on top of them, and, um, uh, as, like, part of, um, part of a blessing, part of a, a thank you, um, and, uh, you know, you, you tell them, um, how sad you are, um, that, um, that they, uh, that they died, that they're dead, but, um, how happy you are, um, that you're going to be able to, um, to eat, basically, um, how, how happy you are that they made that, you know, that sacrifice, um, because you, uh, you need to eat and your family is hungry, um, and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, so the Eland, very sacred in that way. We also learned about, um, the, uh, some of the different plants that are really important there. Um, one of which, uh, if you, um, if you, if you drink it, um, while you're having tuberculosis, but like, you know, kind of soon in having tuberculosis or whatever, if you turn it into a tea and drink it then, um, it's good and it'll help you to, to get better because it's a, it helps just like clear everything out. Um, but if you've had tuberculosis for quite a long time and you drink it, it'll kill you. Um, so that was interesting. Um, definitely don't think I'll be messing around with that. Um, you know, like for multiple reasons, like hopefully I don't have tuberculosis and, um, also like I'm not, you know, uh, 
traditional doctor to know like when it's safe to do that um but yeah so that was my day it was really fun um again super bummed about about tomorrow um but i have my uh my ticket for the aquarium so i'm gonna go and do that um and uh aside from that yeah um i guess i'm gonna finish watching critical role also since i uh didn't get to finish that um and uh yeah just gonna have a chill rest of the night